Have you ever wanted to be a raindrop? Well, now you can. Check out River Runner. Are you teaching about water scarcity or water security or conflicts over fresh water? This is a great website for students to play with where they can virtually be a drop of water, a raindrop, and find out where it ends up anywhere in the world. And there's actually a US version and a world version. And I'm quickly going to show you both of them so that you can use them with your students. Check this out. It's right here. All right, this is the US version and you can click anywhere on this map and see where that raindrop would end up. This is the global version. And I was recently teaching about water scarcity and the Aral Sea and the Amu and Sir Daria rivers. And you could use this, I'm gonna zoom in a bit here and you can use this to drop a raindrop of water anywhere. I'm going to click right here, and when you do, it's going to tell you the location of where you've dropped that water. It's going to show you the path of how that drop of water gets to its uh, final destination, its final large body of water, and then it takes you on a virtual tour of where that drop of water goes, and up here in the upper left corner, you can see the path of that drop of water, and it's going to show you here the un. Um, unidentified rivers or the Amu Daria or Sir Daria. You might have to play with it a little bit to get it in the actual river that you want it in. And you can uh, watch it go along its path here, all these crazy twists and turns, depending on where gravity is taking it. You can also, once you close that path, it's going to zoom back out and it's going to show you an aerial view of that path. And here it gets to the South Aral Sea. You can create a link to share um, with your students for them to explore on their own. They can, they can create their own. Um, lots of cool opportunities for them to use River Runner to learn more about how water gets from the sky to its final large body of water destination. Check it out.